We'll start with opening comments from the head coach. A good first step, probably our best offensive baseball game of the season. I saw that we, I know in the first two spots, we had six hits. I think every hitter had a hit in a ball game today. And then, you know, down toward the bottom of that lineup, Stephen Williams had a special day with four hits. Um, uh, I thought Jack Owen was good. I give a lot of credit to uh, Coastal Carolina. They got him to 86 pitches, I think, in three and two-thirds innings. So offensively, I know that uh, how special they are. They've hit twice as many home runs as we have. And just their leadoff guy, you could just tell that they were ready to have to compete in the box. Uh, that first batter of the ball game took took a while, took a lot of pitches. So I thought Elliot Anderson did a nice job, and it was really nice for Ryan Watson to come in and finish a ball game for us. But I think offensively was uh, – was a big key for us today. Uh, the field really at high noon, it really set up uh, offensively. The wind was blowing. Seemed like every fly ball that got up to the right side was pushing 20, 20 feet further. And, you know, we had some home runs today. Um, but, but a good first step for a ball club. And, uh, and we'll be ready to come back out tomorrow night. All right, we'll take questions to the players. If you want to raise your hand, we'll get a mic to you. We'll start right here on the front row, guys. Stephen, I mean, obviously this year hasn't gone as, as you probably wanted it to, but to come out today, I mean, what, kind of what, what were you feeling? And can you just take us through a little bit, kind of the struggles of the season and, 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 you know, what happened today? Right. Well, um, first off, I just wanted to say that this was like a new start of my season. You know, like what happened in the regular season happened. And, you know, this is a new season for me and for, for all of us. And so um, we just came out with a fresh mind and just wanted to have fun and play the game. So. Let's go right here on the front row, to far left. Uh, Ryan Bliss, um, when, uh, when Steven hit his home run to go up 6-2, I mean, did that feel like a momentum changer for you guys as hitters to kind of get get rolling? Oh, for sure, yeah. Um, you know, everybody was really hitting the ball today, um, pretty good all around the yard. But, you know, Steven's home run was really, you know, a momentum changer, a game changer. And um, just to see him get going, it, it really fired up the whole lineup and it just set the tempo and the tone for the whole day. Let's go right here. Right here, Farah. For uh, Ryan and Steven, to, to, you know, you guys have talked about, Ryan, you said you weren't a part of it last year, but, you know, the, a bunch of runs scored in a regional last year to, to kind of get that momentum going again. And for you, Steven, did that, did that feel kind of like Raleigh last year to you guys? Uh, yeah, especially for me because I mean, I'm pretty sure I had the, like, the exact same stats last year in the opening, opening game in the regional. So, um, and if we can repeat what we did last year in the regional, that would be uh, that would be pretty good, and I'd, I'd definitely be okay with that. So, uh, you know, uh, I wasn't a part of the rally last year, but uh, I've definitely watched it. You know, watched the regional last year, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it was the same thing, the way everybody's been talking. And if this was the same thing, then I'm really looking forward to seeing what what, uh, what happens in the future games. All right, let's go right here to the back, guys. All right, this question's for Stephen uh, Daryl Puck at Alabama News Network in Montgomery. Stephen, man. You know, just the confidence level of this offense. I mean, everybody was hitting the ball. I mean, it just after the game, talking with Coach, how much confidence does this team have heading into tomorrow night at 7 o'clock? All right. Well, I think the potential has been there the whole time, the whole year. And, um, it's taken a little bit of time for us to figure some things out. We've had our ups and downs. But I th this game was really big for us, you know, getting our momentum going, getting guys like me and Will and Eddie. We've got, we got a good day today. So if we can just – carry that momentum into tomorrow and the rest of this regional, then I think it will be set up pretty well. All right, let's go right here to the last second row, guys. Uh, for Brian Watson, um, obviously you guys have talked about this week how good that coastal offense is. Um, they got a few runs, but how are you know the pitchers in this game able to not let them truly break out the way they were doing you know, in the games coming in? Yeah, um, they can really hit the ball, and we knew that coming in, like you said, and um, really just being able to attack the bottom part of the strike zone and you know, this park sets up very offensively, so trying to keep the ball low in the zone to make them hit ground balls and not let them get one up in the up in the air and let the, the wind push it out like we saw several of our guys do today. So that was a big thing for us was just attacking the bottom half of the strike zone and really getting after them, not trying to give them any free bases and just making them put the ball in play, but most importantly, put the ball on the ground. Let's go right here to the back left. For you, Ryan Bliss, being a freshman and this being your first NCAA regional, did you come to Auburn for games like this, to play in games and like this? Oh, for sure. This is uh, – actually, Coach, Coach said that uh, before the game today. This is why you come to Auburn for experiences and games like this, uh, of course. I mean, coming to the SEC, 
you know, you, you expect to make a regional. And um, just finally being here and finally being a part of a regional, just it feels like everything is accomplished. And uh, I'm just excited to see what, what takes takes forward. And for you as a freshman, just what was this experience like today, winning a ball game by this many runs? Oh, it was amazing. You know, uh, I didn't really know what to expect, you know, but I just kind of treated it as any other game as it was the first game of the season to the first SEC uh, game and first Hoover, first game in Hoover. You know, I just treated every game like it was uh, any other game and didn't try to do too much and came out successful. Back left here. Chris Rankle, CBS 42 in Birmingham. Uh, for any of the players, obviously, this is the first game uh, since Rod Bramblett passed away. Just what was on your minds about that? Did you guys think about a pregame or what was said about playing this game with uh, still going through the grieving process with that? Oh, uh, yeah. So we, uh, we have it, his uh, initials on our hat. And so, yeah, we, we definitely have been thinking about him. And, you know, Rod and his family would be a part of the, the Auburn baseball program for, for history. And um, we're glad we can come out here and we can play for him and get a good win today. So. It's going right here to the front, right here. Uh, first, Stephen, um, you talked about how much confidence this team had going into the postseason, even with some of the struggles you had. How much of that confidence comes from from Butch and the rest of the coaching staff and kind of the message they're sharing with you guys? Yeah, I mean, a ton of it. I mean, just the fact that a bunch of us are still in the lineup to the day, I mean, that just shows that they have confidence in us and what we can do. And for us, we just got to go out there and just do what we do. You know, you're not trying to do too much. I mean. The regular season happened, so I mean we can't change that. Well, we we have what well, we we got to focus on what we can tr control, and that's from here on out, and we just got to focus on that. So, front right, right here. Yeah, for Stephen, uh, what did you learn in the first two games you had against Georgia Tech this season? If you do face them tomorrow night, what do y'all need to do better? Um, well, they can definitely swing the bat too, and um, just like Ryan was saying, this ballpark set up for a hitter, and uh, we know some of their pitchers. I know they're starter that they're going to be throwing tomorrow. He hadn't thrown against us yet this year, but. Um, I think he's going to be a lefty, so I mean, we just got to come out and just do what we do and not try to do too much again, and I think we'll be successful. Anything else to the players? All right, thanks, guys. Thanks for your time. <coughs> All right, we'll take questions for the head coach. If you want to raise your hand, right here on the front row, in the middle. Which I know in your last game against LSU, you, you, uh, you started Devin right. Um, you know, what was was there any thoughts of doing that this game, and, and just kind of why you went with Steven and what you saw from him? Yeah, in all honesty, we evaluated all week, and actually, Devin had a tremendous week. Um, but uh, you know, I, I felt like the first game and spent a lot of time with Gabe and Carl, uh, Gabe Gross, Carl Nunnemaker, that um, Steven had had a, a really good week and shown a lot of energy and kind of hung in there. And I, I do want that to be a strength of our program that we hang with our guys and. I, I think they know that. So Stephen was given an opportunity today, and we did not forget what he's done in the postseason in the past. And um, he rewarded us for for that. And, and again, Devin's had a great week, um, and he's come on and started earning some stuff, just like Brody Moore's had a moment. And um, I fully expect that Devin's going to do something to help us in this regional. But it was really nice to see Stephen. We feel like pitching and defense once you get to the postseason is so important. And that wound up giving Stephen the nod. All right, let's go here to the back. Coach Daryl Puckett, Alabama News Network in Montgomery. Uh, you know, this entire week has been incredibly emotional. Um, you know, a question was earlier about Rod and his wife and just the emotion base. You talking to the media earlier this week. Um, what was it like after the win with the guys and, uh, you know, doing this for Rod, in essence? Yeah, Rod and Paula, they will be, just like Steven said. They'll be part of Auburn forever. <clears throat> it's been a tough spring. I know the, you know, we did, our team did make it to a regional. Uh, but we've had to fight and claw for everything. We've had injuries. Um, we've had three boys that can really swing the bat that haven't swung to the ability that they've swung in seasons p past. Um, we, we had a tornado that we canceled a game and played a doubleheader the day before and 13 miles away. Um, while we're at the field, you know, a tornado killed 23 people in our county. Uh, we had two officers, one go down and lose his life and another one go down, but two of those three men right around the corner from us, uh, you know, are season ticket holders of our baseball program. And then Rod and Paul, it's been a, it's been a year of perseverance for, for our family, Auburn family, for the Auburn University family, Lee County. Um, definitely our baseball program. I don't know if I've been more proud of a ball, a ball team that I've coached um, 
and I really hope something sets up neat for a journey. Um, I, I do know how good these teams are in this regional here. Um, and we might see Coastal Carolina again. That's how much I respect them, the head coaches in this tournament. When I think of Gary and Danny and, and Jamie, how much success they've had and, and tenure they've had. But I'm proud of our ball club if we don't win another ball game. Uh, we learned a lot more about between the lines this year. We've, we've overcome and individually it hadn't been the best, but our team has qualified for some stuff. And then getting a win here today is huge. So I think this has been more about our team than individuals. We've hung in there and we've been through a lot. They've been through a lot off the field. So I'm, I'm really proud to be the head coach of these young men and, and be with them and, and, and try to lead. I, I think this is a huge opportunity for, for me and I'm trying to use my faith. I'm trying to use uh, uh, the time that I've had uh, of raising my own family and, and uh, trying to be a, productive part of our community and but I'm doing everything I can to try to lead this program through all the diversity that we've had this year. All right, let's go to the back left. Coach, earlier this week when we talked with you, you specifically mentioned Steven and Jack's name, guys that you wanted to get started this week to see just the performances they had today and just as a team overall, what's it like heading into the rest of this regional? Yeah, I just think a good start. I, I just think any team interested in winning a regional, I mean, this thing starts on a Friday and you know, um, sometimes it goes to Monday, sometimes it's over on Sunday. It's fast. So you got to come out of the gates fast. You got to be ready to go first pitch. And, you know, tomorrow night will be a huge game to set up, you know, the, how this regional is going to shake out. So we've got the one game to get to that next one. And, you know, whether it's Georgia Tech or whether it's uh, Florida A&M that reaches that game, it's a huge game. And then Sunday will be huge, but it's one step at a time. And winning the first one's very important. So if you want to get hot, if you want to, you know, this was easy for us to drop the, the regular season and uh, to get focused in here. So we, we've had a good week of preparation. We did not give them a day off. Um, we forced our team to be together. I think this is the first segment of the whole year where we don't have to take the one day a week off and we just got together every day. And um, I think some of the things that happened today really led up to an entire week of work manifest itself today. So a uh, good first step, but uh, the guys have done well. All right, let's go to the front row. But, but you talked about passing it down at the plate all year long. Um, you guys had, I think, two home runs and everything else was a single. Was that approach, you mentioned the best offensive day, but just from an approach standpoint, was, was that as good as you've seen in a while? Yeah, I, I do. I think it's our best offensive performance. Uh, the two out hits, the singles, the passing it down to the next guy. I didn't saw Case and Chase once or twice. They, they did get some strikeouts on us, but uh, I really saw us command the strike zone pretty good. Um, I thought Jeff, I think that was um, our first, our home plate umpire. It was pretty tight zone. You had to shove the ball in the strike zone. I know for at least two thirds of the ball game, it was a pretty uh, tight strike zone. So I thought we evaluated the strike zone really good. And I thought we just hit the ball hard. It's not just a ball getting up and getting out of the park here. It's if you hit the ball hard, it's June now. So even the dirt, even you're rewarded for just hitting the ball hard. There were a lot of hits up the middle through the four hole, through the six hole today that you were rewarded for. And it just extended some innings for us and uh, some good at bats today, top to bottom. We'll stay in the front right here. Do you feel like any of the pitchers that went today are going to be available uh, the rest of the weekend? And, and I know that now you're definitely at least going to have a game on Sunday. Is there a starter that you've in mind for that? Yeah, and they were some of our older guys is what I think of. Sam, I think of uh, Elliot Anderson, yes. He's been a very resilient pitcher for us. I think that's really good for Steve to pull him out and get him in a ball game. I feel like Bailey Horn's more of that one-time guy. Uh, I think by going to Elliot Anderson today was a really good move because you know that that's a guy that has some resiliency and can come back again. I feel the same thing about Ryan Watson being a junior. So some of those freshmen staying at bay, somebody like Bailey Horn you thinks one time may be in a weekend to be used. I think we use some guys with resiliency. So we get the win. Uh, we navigated away from Green Hill, and we use guys that we feel like can throw twice in a weekend. So I think that's positive. Anything else for Coach? We got time for one more right here in the front. Uh, yes, sir. Coach, uh, if it is Georgia Tech tomorrow night, uh, what have you seen from them so far this season? How do you think that matchup uh, goes for you guys? 
Well, first off, I just say I love uh, playing Danny Hall and his ball clubs. Uh, ever since I've been able to be the head coach at Auburn, it's been important to me to continue to try to keep that rivalry right, uh, right down I-85, um, how much respect I have for the program. Um, you know, I've been in the league 18 years, so I, I've, I've known his ball clubs. Um, I've been at Georgia uh, as an assistant coach. Um, it makes us better. Um, I think we've split every year. This year they got us both times. It's uh, they just they've swung the bat so well against us and uh, kind of drug us through it. They've really gotten to our bullpen both times at home and up here. And after we played them the last time, they just continued to win series. I, I kind of keep up close. So I, I appreciate Danny continuing to play us. I think their two games, uh, although we didn't get a win, helped contribute contribute to us playing the number one strength of schedule in America by them winding up as the three national seed. Um, so uh, we've, we've seen how strong they are. We've seen how athletic they are with some speed that they have. They defended the ball very well. What we haven't seen is their weak in arms. And really that'll be the case if, if that's who our opponent is tomorrow night. Um, you know, we hope that helps with us. Uh, being able to see Tanner Burns uh, go for us would help us a little bit to get off to a to a start. So, um, all the respect in the world. Like I said, all three of these ball clubs uh, are really good clubs. You're looking at a, a national champion recently. You're looking at you know uh, Jamie Shoup that was 21 years as a pitching coach at Florida State. I think he has a great feel for um, the teams in the regional as well. So. Uh, um, just a very solid ball club, and they're going to be a handful, just like Coastal was today, um, beating Georgia Tech here at this park. I think our players um, know what a tall task that is. All right, Coach, thanks for your time. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.